Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 10th Anniversary Blind Bag Series. I did a video opening an entire case of these. If you have not seen that, uh, I'll put the link up here or down in the description or something. So highly recommend you go and watch that. That was pretty funny because I thought I just had a normal whole case and it ended up not being a normal whole case. There was way more of the rares than there should have been and the commons were like barely there and it was it was pretty fun. So highly recommend you go watch that. And now we're going to take a look at the figures in detail. I meant to do this a while ago, but life gets busy. Other videos come up. The elephant releases, that sort of thing. So now we're going to just jump in. I guess we'll go according to rarity and we'll start with the most common and work our way up, which means we're going to start with this grunt. So here he is. It's a... Uh, Pretty much your standard grunt. He comes with a gold stand, which is kind of cool. Not super useful for anything else, but it's kind of cool. He's got dark brown skin. Comes with a golden plasma pistol. Very Gucci, very dripped out grunt. And then the grunt himself is just a blue grunt. He's pretty much what we've been seeing from the Halo Infinite line. Ugh. There we go. These things don't like to fit together. But he has the other mask. Come on. My camera is wigging out. Come on. There you go. Yeah, he's just got the, like, Halo 3 mask instead of the Halo CE mask. So that's pretty cool. But, yeah, other than that, it is just a grunt. And it's always good to get grunts. Hmm. Pretty nice. Would have been even nicer to see some eyeballs, though. We don't have any eyeballs. Our next figure is a Brute Captain. He comes with a golden plasma rifle, and yes, I know it is upside down, but you can't bend the arms with it upright because the other side is too long. This guy's pretty cool. He's got an all purple look going for him. The asymmetrical shoulders are really cool. No additional print on the armor, but the, uh, I can't speak, purple. The purple is really nice. And then underneath we have the old, uh, like Halo Wars brute head. No detailing, like no extra detailing, but still that's pretty nice. Helmet fits right on there. It doesn't limit the head movement too much. Pretty cool. Uh, this is not entirely an army builder figure since it is a captain. However, having a full squad of these guys would be pretty cool. And we don't often get captains. I guess we do more now with the banished stuff. But like Covenant Brute Captains, we have only gotten a few of. Or it's been a while anyway. So yeah, this guy is a nice one to get. And I really love that purple. So this guy is basically the one that everybody wants. He's an elite. He's in the metallic green that we get a lot of Spartans in. And he just looks really, really nice. Comes armed with a golden... Carbine looks cool. The gold weapons are hit or miss for me, but that one looks pretty nice. And then the figure is just your standard elite miner, except he's in this metallic green. He's got his arm, like all, it's just mostly his skin tone, and his head has a kind of that tan skin tone. Yeah, this guy just looks really nice. Actually, I ended up Back when these were out, I was trying to get that Flame Marine, and I got this guy thinking he was a Flame Marine. And it wasn't actually such a bad find. He's pretty nice. We don't get them in green very often. We get them in blue a lot, but green, this has been the only time so far. We've even gotten more reds, but yeah, green is fantastic to get. And he is one of the ones that's pretty tough to get these days because everybody still wants him. And I can see why. The last of the commons happens to be my personal favorite out of this whole series, the Black Recon. First of all, Recon's just a nice looking armor. It has just the right amount of chunky armor look mixed with like more sleek design, like the chest plate's really a little bit more sleek. It just looks really good. And it's a black Spartan. We don't get black Spartans very often, which makes it even better. And this guy is kind of like a tribute to the black recon that came out in the very first elephant. So this is like the new version of that guy, which is super cool. I love it when Mega just kind of goes back and it's like, hey, we had this figure that came in this really important set, so we're gonna update it. He comes with a gold SOCOM pistol, which isn't it James Bond that's like the golden pistol or whatever? That makes me 
kind of it kind of gives me those vibes visor looking very nice let's see can we get in a little closer yeah there we go um he doesn't have the black printed underneath the visor i guess that's not really necessary oh wait nope never mind he doesn't have it printed there the other ones typically will have black printed in this little section down here but since he's all black we don't really need that there he is around the back he's got a gray undersuit which provides a little bit of contrast those shoulders look so nice yeah 100 percent my favorite figure out of the whole thing and he is a common which means he should theoretically be pretty easy to get still but you know take that with a grain of salt because it is mega and anything mega is a little bit difficult to get moving on to the rares we have a red stinger spartan this is only the second iteration of stinger we have ever gotten from mega the first one was a black one that was from the covert ops armor pack this guy looks pretty nice unfortunately the red does suffer from that issue that mega has where it's like the softer plastics are a different color than the harder plastics so the forearms and the head are slightly brighter red than the rest of the figure comes with a golden saw which I think is actually pretty slick. And then I just really like this armor. I know it's not for everybody. It has that Halo 5 look that a lot of people hate, but I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of menacing with the just mono visor like that. And then just the design of the chest plate and the way everything flows, it's just cool to me. I, it's unique, it's different, I like it. And getting it in red is a nice thing since the last one we got was a very dark color. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd love to see one of these in like a forest green or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Next up, we have the Spartan Helios Grill. This is another one of those Halo 5, Halo 4 armors that not everybody loves. I think this guy is more liked than the Stinger. I, at least I've seen people liking this guy a fair bit. He comes armed with a golden brute shot, which gotta admit that's kind of an odd choice, but hey, it's cool looking so i will take it the figure himself absolutely fantastic helios grill is so cool and this kind of cyan teal color is a fantastic fit for it um in real life it's actually a little bit more green than what is showing up on camera which is kind of interesting and there's a slight variation in color but not bad the visor let's see visor is looking pretty nice for the most part yeah that looks pretty good. Um, as for quality control stuff with this series, a lot of stiff joints. Um, some of the weird hand issues, you know, where the hand like wobbles in the socket. Fortunately, I mainly ran into just fixable problems and didn't have anything major. However, there was a problem that I ran into that we'll talk about later that was not something that I could fix. But for this guy, he looks really cool. I like getting Helios grills. And it's about time we got some new ones. Ah, uh, here he is. This is the guy that I was trying to hunt down when I accidentally ended up with that Elite. But yeah, this is like a original Halo Wars Flame Marine. He's got the golden backpack and flamethrower, which is not the first time we've gotten that. The like Comic-Con blue Flame Marine had it as well. And then he's got a yellow undersuit, which gives hazmat vibes, like really heavy hazmat vibes. When you have him just like this, he looks like some sort of a hazmat unit, which is pretty cool. Uh, what I was saying about tight joints, yeah, that's a little tight. But yeah, this guy's pretty cool. I like the gray armor. The visor print is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There's a little bit of odd feathering at the edges, but not bad. I like kind of the matte look. It's not too shiny. There's nice contrast against the yellow. Looks good. The back is oddly flat, but it needs to be so that the tank can fit on there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Only thing I would have liked to see is maybe some printing on the tubes. But other than that, very solid figure. Our next figure is a white uh, Mark IV. I think that's what this is, a Mark IV Spartan. And he looks pretty nice. We've gotten a white one before, but I believe he had a green visor instead of a gold one so this guy is set apart by the color of his visor he's got that like cookies and cream speckling on his armor he comes armed with a golden dmr 
which looks pretty cool. It's a little bit more dull gold than some of the other ones. I guess just a different plastic mix, but I think it looks pretty slick. The whole figure is pretty good, I would say. The visor is done pretty well on this one. There was a couple that had less than amazing visors, but this one's pretty nice. You can see all the speckling. The white for the leg armor is a bit different than the rest of the armor, which is odd. I have a feeling it has to do with the way that they marbled the piece. Just, you know, it's just random flex that they put in there, so it can kind of end up with some color variation. But that's pretty nice. I like that. I like it a lot. He looks ready to deploy into an Arctic battle zone. And the speckling just makes him more interesting to look at than a straight plain white. Now we are on to the ultra rares. And it feels a little weird, to be honest, that there are so many figures in this series because our series that we get now is like six or so figures. So we'll have like a couple commons and a couple rares. But this one had, let's see, what was it? Four four commons four rares and two ultra rares that's that's a lot of figures so this is active camo cat and what i was saying about like quality control problems earlier i have another one that came missing a thigh armor and unfortunately omega's customer service thing was down at the time and i couldn't make a request to get any sort of help so that's a pain she comes armed with a golden tactical shotgun again pretty nice very interesting and then you just have cat as we've seen her before but with active camo she's got that terrible robotic arm but now in um, translucent clear and yeah it's cat but active camo I think it's kind of cool because we have an active camo Carter so it's a nice thing that you can pair with if you have it um, we don't really have active camo versions of the rest of noble team so I would love to see them do that at some point. I think it would be cool to be able to get all of Noble Team active camo. I know we got Emil, but in like a cloudy brown color, and I don't think that really counts. So right now we just have Carter and Cat, but getting like an active camo Noble 6, an active camo June, that would be so cool. And last but not least, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Golden CE Chief. There was a huge hunt for this guy when the series first came out. So many people were going for him. He was going for like 30 plus dollars online. It was crazy. Like the hunt was pretty exciting, to be honest. Uh, I didn't try and hunt him that much just because it, I wanted some other figures at the time. I had just kind of started collecting and a plain gold Master Chief wasn't much help to me. I wanted a real Master Chief. But getting him now is pretty cool. He's a pretty nice figure. He gives me the same kind of vibes as like Statue Chief from Foxtrot series. Uh, the gold is varied. The undersuit is kind of a lighter yellowy green almost kind of gold. And then the armor is like a different color gold. And then the pins are kind of an even different gold. And I would complain about that because I don't think it was purposeful. But it looks good actually. Like, it makes him look interesting, and yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's good. Like, it's one of those happy accident moments. No print anywhere on the figure. His head, you can see his head is just completely plain gold with some nice marbling on the visor. That's all that we've got for detailing, and he comes armed with a golden AR, now I wanted to bring in another gold figure because after this guy we got gold figures in the 20th anniversary pack. So here we go. Um, it might not come across as much on camera, but the this guy looks a little bit more shiny in person. And he just looks more interesting. The, there is still variation on this guy, but it's a different kind of gold. However, he does have a golden uh, magnum, which means we can do the CE magnum, which is kind of cool. Although you can see it's it's a very different gold. It's like a yellow gold. This is a green gold, so it's kind of odd. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that in. This is like, to me, gold figure done right. This is, I mean, he's not bad, but like, it just wasn't great. The gold figures in the anniversary pack. But yeah, this guy is still pretty cool. I think it was a great ultra rare to do like a chase figure it made a lot of sense it wasn't a hugely 
desirable character like you didn't need him to complete your collection but he was a fun chase figure to try and find and he looked pretty darn fantastic on display like that i mean who wouldn't want golden sea chief like that's pretty cool well there you have it that is the 10th anniversary blind bags i'd say this is a pretty cool series there's no Marines or ODSTs, which is kind of a bummer. I think maybe a Spartan could have been removed and an ODST could have been put in place. Maybe. I don't know. But for the most part, I really like it. We have a nice selection of enemies. We have a nice selection of uh, like hero figures, Spartans. And also, the chase figure is just really cool. Both of them, honestly. The active camo cat is nice too because it's not like you know the main version of cat that you need in your collection but it's a nice kind of gimmick version that black recon 100 percent my favorite out of the whole series and then that green elite is a close second they're both just really nice classic looking figures so yeah really cool series i would say for sure some of these are still worth hunting down to this day heck you can even find some of these in dollar generals if you find a random dollar general there's a small chance you might find some of these in there. But yeah, uh, don't overpay, but that's kind of how I always say things. I feel like five to seven bucks is the ranges that I would pay for these and nothing more. Uh, maybe a little more for Chief, maybe like 10 for Chief. But other than that, I think higher amounts is just kind of unfair, especially for some of the random Spartans like the Stinger. The Stinger is worth like three. Um, elite people probably try to gouge i have seen it for like 15 or so don't pay that much it's not worth it but if you can find them for f around five bucks highly highly recommend thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time